Yo, 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 YouTube, this is your boy Strike from FTN, the FIFA Trading Network. So, uh, if, before we get into this, please drop a like, uh, drop a subs uh, subscription. We've got, the channel is absolutely amazing so far, and I've got already uh, quite a bit of feedback to go through. Thank you so much for that. But let's get into today's episode, which is, as I promised, uh, which uh, was going to go up on Thursday. Right now, for me, it's still Tuesday, guys. So, yeah, I'm doing some uh, Tuesday recording fiesta. But basically, it's still Tuesday for me and I will be this you guys will see this on Thursday and it is my um, why my FIFA trading isn't working uh, episode 2 so basically what I'm going to be doing today is going to be showing you another reason that the, that your FIFA trading is not working or maybe potentially a way to make it work so for example we're just going to go search um, yes okay it's probably going to be less laggy okay for example if you check Gerard or you know anyone at all instead of just buying this guy and then maybe even losing out backbone oh look he's backbone he's only 3k Gerard the beast let's go pick him up instead of doing that what you can do is very simply just quickly it doesn't take too long but use this tool here the add to transfer target then all you have to do is go back search up the player for example Pogba now you can search him up in, for example, let's say he was a uh, thingy, a, uh, a finisher. Now you can search him up in the finisher, find out his price in the finisher, slap on the transfer targets page, and then obviously you can go ahead and uh, buy him or sell him on for more, whatever you need to do. So this method is so simple. Use and abuse the transfer target. All right, this like it hardly ever fills up, but if you if you if unsure about a player's price, add to transfer target like this just press the button right here add to transfer target search him up now let's go back search up Navas then we can come back and we'll see what we've got and if we like the deal we can go to transfer target so about all of these other players here but we can go up to Navas and if it's cheap or you know it's a good deal we can bang him on so obviously now I'm going to remove him uh, I'm probably just going to remove him from the transfer targets because I'm not interested. So if a player is too much, you can just remove them straight away from the transfer um, targets and simple as. But it's so useful. I don't. I can't believe people don't use the method more. You just need to add him to the transfer targets, and you can find out if it's a deal or not. Some people ne just just buy him straight away and hope that they've got a deal, and that is never the way to trade. And that is such a big mistake, and that's why I'm picking up on it. One of the biggest mistakes is not using your transfer target last year I literally when I bid on a play when I bid on a player I would literally bid on this guy for example let's say I just bid on this Neverland uh, badge right now uh, let's say um, or let's say I'll go here sorry I would go here I'll see Valencia I would bid on him and I would literally just stand here and would just wait I would not go on find some other deals but it's so easy just add him to the transfer target or when you make a bid um when you make a bid it's automatically added to the transfer target so add him to the transfer target go along find some of the deals and then you can come back to the transfer targets go to uh go to the player and you can go ahead and pick him up so guys this has been my second episode of uh what am i doing wrong with my trading i, I still do not know what to call it guys if you know a good series name just drop it in the comments but it's gonna be probably um uh why uh, why can't i trade properly for example yeah that's actually that's the name of this series why can't i trade properly and i'm just picking up on some common mistakes that people make nowadays uh because yeah there's so many of them so many simple mistakes that people make just use the transfer target i use it and abuse it for example with this jekyll here okay he's got 45k but look at that 40k bid if we add him to transfer target we can go ahead and check how much he's going for all right this has been a obviously a very basic video now i could go to you and say do this and you could be like uh, everyone uses the freaking transfer targets but the thing is a lot of traders do not but not just traders a lot of people all in all do not use and abuse the transfer targets which i don't know why it's just so useful anyway please drop a like on the video drop a subscription if you are not subscribed already and thank you so much for tuning in to this video why can't i trade or why can't i why can't my trades work but yeah why can't i trade tune into episode two thank you